It's a beautiful day to take you guys through this amazing villa that we've just finished setting up. It's a four bedroomed villa. It's beautiful. I'm happy with what we've been able to do with this house. We have the living room, the dining room, a family room and the four bedrooms. And today I'll be taking you through all these spaces and share the magic that we've been able to create in this beautiful home. So come on in. I don't think you guys are ready for how beautiful this house is. And it only feels right to get started at the entrance. It's a minimal entrance, but we just wanted to be able to create the vibe of this space by at least adding an art piece on one of the walls. And you can see we've gone with like this beachy um, kind of art, art piece, the blues, the greens, the browns kind of help set the tone for the rest of the house. And as we walk through, you'll be able to see these are kind of the color palettes that we've picked for the home. So I think it's a, it's a simple entrance that kind of, you know, communicates what you're about to to experience in the entire house. So still by the entrance, we had like this, another empty corner and this um, is an opening that is just under the staircase. And as you can see with the before, it just, it just stood out a lot. The gap was a little bit disturbing for me. So what we decided to do was um, do a custom door and then introduce like the rattan um, on these doors, but then painted it white to kind of just have that consistency with the walls. I absolutely love this. Um, and then we just wanted to add some liveliness in the space. So as you walk in, you're greeted by this gorgeous um, leafy plant. So the vibe for this home, as I will mention when we walk through the living room and the rest of the house is that we wanted to create like a Mediterranean kind of retreat, like a resort look with this home. So you'll find that we've worked with lots of leafy plants and we did this concrete um, pot and painted it into like this beautiful light blue color to kind of pick from, you know, the blues, the greens that you find in most of like, you know, resorts. So yeah, that was the vibe and I actually love it so much when you come in it's just a nice welcoming gesture so like i mentioned the idea with this space or rather with this home was to create a resort so you find we've worked with lots of neutrals we wanted to just have that base we wanted something clean and fresh so we wanted the fabric to be very neutral uh, my client loves white <laughs> This is a beautiful couch from Hods and it comes as a 10 seater. So as we do the walkthrough, you'll be able to see that we've distributed it um, in other different spaces. And for here, we just left one big um, couch and I just love how beautiful it is. It's a little bit old school to kind of give that traditional vibe. And um, it's white and has this beautiful uh, linen-like removable covers, which means when it gets dirty, you just remove and you wash and then you return. So it's an easy one to maintain and I love that she loves white because with that we are able to kind of give her that uh, Mediterranean resort kind of vibe that she wanted for this home so yeah I love also that um this couch kind of pairs so beautifully with the carpet that we have in the room. So the idea was to just add a little bit of color, like pop of color, but make it more, you know, floral, more um, the greens, the blues, some browns here and there, so that we kind of have that theme going through um, the space. Like I mentioned, we worked with one big couch and then there was one big one seater that we felt would have fit in this space. So we just placed it at an, at a, an amazing angle to just kind of set up a good conversational area. So you know what, when I'm seated right here, I can just have a conversation with someone when they're seated there. I can have a conversation with someone seated um, on the two beautiful accent chairs that we've set up in the space. We custom made this gorgeous um, chairs they are so so beautiful also there was just a lot of fabric so we wanted to break the white fabric introduce a little bit of warmth here and there so you find we've gone with like this beautiful um brown stain the wood of choice for this space was actually jacaranda 
Can we just take a moment to admire this gorgeous coffee table that we've also custom made for this space. So we went with like this beautiful carved coffee table. I love the smooth edges on this. Again, the wood of choice for here is jacaranda, like I mentioned. It just has like that beautiful brown color to it that is so, so beautiful. The grains are amazing. All these custom pieces are actually available on Shop the Look by us, YK Homes. So if you're interested in any piece that you, you know, that you see in this space, reach out to we'll be able to create something um, for you. But I feel like the wood accents in this space kind of, you know, helps warm up the space. And I absolutely love that. Now let's talk about this focal wall. I just love it. Like I said, I just wanted to create a resort for this space. So it also made sense to kind of give a bit of like a modern touch to the space. So we went with like a modern fireplace. As you see with the before, this was one long wall. And what we did is we put up a gypsum structure that holds the fireplace and also it's strong enough to hold the TV when they're ready to put up the TV. Then we were left with this empty walls on the sides that just felt dull. So what we needed to do was to introduce some artwork. We went with these beautiful black frames to just kind of tie in with some of the black accents that you'll be able to see when you're going up the staircase. I love how this dining area turned out. There was enough room to accommodate an eight-seater. So we wanted to also carry some of the elements that you see in the living room into this other area because it's one open floor plan. So the idea was to also have like a beautiful carved table. So we went with like this beautiful jacaranda um, wood and thinned it like a very nice light brown. I feel like it just gives enough warmth um, to the space. And when you see the cuffs are just more or less the same as what we have with the coffee table. So I feel like that's good symmetry. I feel like the rattan also gives this space beautiful beautiful texture because the table has like this smooth feel to it so just a little bit of texture was needed for this space and i feel like they just pop so beautifully i also love the curve um on these uh, dining chairs they kind of complement the dining well uh, the dining table so beautifully we custom made these beautiful bigger dining chairs and introduced that flowy fabric uh, feel to it, which is more or less what we have in the living room. And I feel like they just complete the space. There's a little bit of white, not too much, just enough amount of white um, on this space. And these are so comfortable. Actually, these happen to be my client's favorite dining chairs. She's like, I'll always be here every other day. And I just love how they have, you know, softened the look a little bit i just love it another thing we wanted to do for the space was to add like a beautiful simple clean light fixture so we went with this beautiful gold color we made sure that the light fixture here kind of flows to the light fixture that we also have um, in the living room to just kind of have that uniformity and to ensure that this space uh, feels like one um, big space so just by the dining area, my client had already set up a bar station or like a bar area. And I just love that design decision that she made when, you know, still in construction. I just, I just love it. It was beautiful. One thing I just needed to do was to kind of, you know, elevate it and just make it feel like the rest of the space. So the first thing that we did with my team is to remove the backsplash that was here and then we layered it up with um, a fluted panel and then painted over it and we went with like this beautiful light bluish um, color to just kind of give that coastal vibe and i just love how it marries with uh, the carpets that we have on the floor to just kind of have that uniformity and that good flow then we went ahead and added some beautiful custom bastos we went with the same wood that we have with the furniture 
uh, you see in the rest of the space and just soften the look a little bit by introducing these beautiful white uh, rounded um, cushions so one thing that i'm very happy about when i look at this space is actually how the bustles stand out they have like these beautiful cuffs on them they just look like a tiny hard bag that you can lift and just you know carry around they're so beautiful uh, the workmanship was great again these are available on shop the look um, by yk homes like we'll give you beautiful furniture guys we'll give you beautiful furniture so above this um countertop we wanted to just introduce the same texture that you see with the dining chairs so the rattan vibe we felt like we needed to just introduce you know a little bit of that texture here so we went with these beautiful glass pendants from thailand carpet amazing find uh, and i just love the, that the gold ties on with um, the gold like fixtures that we have but also i love the textured uh, look that they have because they help tie in with the rattan chairs we have in this space now i'll take you guys upstairs where we have the family room and some of the bedrooms such a beautiful setup that i can't wait to show you we are now in the beautiful family room we wanted to carry the few traditional vibes that you see um, in the living room to this space so like i mentioned when we initially got the living room couch it was a 10 seater set so we just had to be creative with that set because we were both attached to that couch with my client so the idea is to just distribute the set around the house uh, initially the idea here was to do like a sectional couch to just kind of have that family room vibe going on but since our priority was getting that couch we decided to settle on uh, distributing one of the bigger pieces in this room and it just fit like a glove i absolutely love it it's beautiful it's the right size and i just love how simple we've kept it even with the pillows that we have and just at the back we wanted to cover the empty space with just a bigger landscape art piece it's so beautiful i love the blue tones that you see on it i love the beachy vibe that you see on it the colors are a little bit more moody which i absolutely love and i just love how the art piece kind of also picks from the carpet or rather the carpet kind of picks from the art piece that we have we also wanted to be able to create enough sitting space in this room. I know it's not a big one. And now that we killed the idea of a sectional couch, we had this empty space right here and I felt like it was good to introduce an accent chair. And I just borrowed the rattan vibe that we have downstairs and introduced that at the back of this accent chair. I think it's very, very beautiful. It gives a little bit of like a traditional vibe, a little bit of texture in this space because I feel like we were lacking that texture in this room and then picked a fabric that kind of works with the carpet and the artwork that we have in this space. I just, I love this piece. We also custom made this piece uh, from scratch. Again, available if you guys would be interested in something similar to this. We tied the wood thing that you see on the accent chair with a coffee table. One thing I love about it is we put, uh, or rather we introduced the rattan detail at the bottom to just kind of tie that in with the accent chair that we have in this space. Another style of the show in this room, other than the gorgeous cups behind me, it's this beautiful light from House of Tata. I just love the shape. I love the arms. It takes the shape of the ceiling. It takes the shape of the furniture that we have. It's super dramatic and I was trying to create enough drama in this space. My client loves reading and she had lots and lots and lots of books. So we just needed to have somewhere where we could store these books because I didn't just want them laying everywhere in the house. So we worked with an inbuilt um, cabinet for this family room and just tucked it with books. Like I mentioned, this was not a cabinet to put vases or plants. It was more of a cabinet where we can put all the books and even the more books that she adds down the line, she can be able to still stack them over here. So I worked with my people over at L Creations and they built this gorgeous custom inbuilt cabinet um, for me. And I just love it. One thing that I was keen on is just introducing 
a little bit of drama with the cabinet because I knew it wasn't going to be an aesthetic cabinet where I do decor and plants. So I just wanted to be able to design a cabinet that stood out even without having to put plants and stuff like that. And that's why you'll notice we've gone with these gorgeous cuffs at the top. They are so, so perfect and so beautiful and so different. At the bottom, we wanted to go with these door profiles to just kind of give a little bit of, you know, aesthetic on the doors to avoid having too plain of the doors. So what we did is we also did like a door profile that has the curves that you see at the top and I think they look absolutely amazing. I love the black knobs that we have going on um, with the doors to kind of also tie in with the few black accents that we have. So to be able to balance out this space is on one side we worked with drawers that's a place where they can be able to arrange some of the books. Then at the center we worked with um, some doors and then on one side of the cabinet we left it open to act as a desk desk space so in every room like you've noticed even in the living room we've done provisions for the tv when they're ready to put up uh, the tvs they can also skip that part and maybe do an art piece to avoid maybe making this room an entertainment room and still keep that formal vibe so there's no pressure with um with this area we just wanted to be able to have those provisions just in case they wanted to go that direction of um, the tv so i feel like this room is complete and i think everything stands out on its own again just simple details trying to you know to, trying to complement each other in a room i feel like that how that's how design should be And welcome to the most amazing, the most beautiful bedroom you guys will ever come across. This happens to, the, to be the master bedroom. I absolutely love this room. We went all out in terms of design decisions. We wanted it to be unique. We wanted it to stand out. And you'll notice that we've carried a few elements from the living room or rather from the family room to this space because we just wanted to have the same vibes flow into this space. But the key thing when we were designing this master bedroom is that that we wanted to give it that hotel vibe. I just needed my client to sleep in here and feel like she's on vacation. And that is a dream come true. So when you look at the before, we had this empty bare space. The walls were not as interesting. So we wanted to create a little bit of drama with the headboard wall. You'll notice we've worked with this gorgeous carved wall to just give that oomph. And this is one of the elements that we borrowed from um, the family room. We actually first designed that book cabinet and that inspired what we did uh, with this space. It's so beautiful, so interesting. I still wanted to give them something a little bit temporary. So we went with gypsum boards. So just in case there's a time, eh? there's a time they ever got bored with this wall, they can just like uh, knock it down and have a bare wall or just do something else with it. But I, I feel like it's the star of this room. It's the star of the show. It's beautiful. And we then wanted to have like a rounded headboard with a bed and just have like a neutral fabric with it, mainly what you're also seeing with the couches and everything else we have in the other rooms and just create like a rim around it with the jacaranda wood to just give a little bit of warmth, a little bit of contrast on the white fabric. And I feel like it's so, so, so beautiful. And I just needed the headboard to act as the deco moment for the bed. So we avoided working with deco pillows. We just kept it clean and simple and just borrowed the brown vibes on the headboard and introduced that on the bedspread. And just looking at this, it's clean, it's fresh, it's hotel vibes, and I think she will love it here. <laughs> I love how we've balanced out the headboard wall. We placed everything that needed to be placed. There's just good balance with stuff. And now we feel like there was a lot of empty space that was left on the footrest side. So we wanted to create a nook, a sitting nook. This is the first time I've done a sitting nook in a client's bedroom. And when I just got this chance, it was amazing. So remember the couches that we've been distributing around the entire house? One of the pieces came here and it just fits like a glove. So we also wanted to create a beautiful moment in this corner. And after just having this foundation with the couch, we wanted to put some artwork above 
the couch my client is a christian and i just wanted to be able to have this room feel a little bit personal like i just wanted this room to be everything that she loves so we went with some of our favorite uh verses i'm happy that i was able to get those and to print them out and just frame this and i love that when she wakes up it's more or less the first thing that she notices and then we wanted to put like a green moment at the back so we went with like a rubber plant i feel like it gives a little bit of greenery a little bit of of liveliness in the space and i just love how this entire nook looks like the stool completes everything and the color just ties in with this carpet also another thing that was important for this space is how we placed the couch so you'll notice we've placed it at an angle which means it's facing the rest of the room and it just feels cozy and complete we were not about to leave any corners empty so we wanted to create a console moment on this other corner and also put together a provision for a tv just in case they are ready to put up um, a tv in this room but the console is so beautiful i love the fluted detail that we have on the drawer doors again went with the same jacaranda wood to kind of give that warmth in this space and i think the doors actually stand out so beautifully we styled it with um some of our books like i said my client reads a lot so there's a lot of books in this house and we just wanted to use that as decor pieces um for this room just a few verses here and there and i think even the baskets at the bottom they kind of help give a little bit of storage help cover that dead space that is under the console and everything looks perfect the colors work together so beautifully and again this is an available piece on shop the look plus the bedside tables that we have in this room we've enjoyed putting together designs uh, in terms of furniture for this space we took our time with that and i just love how everything has turned out amazing and crafting is a beautiful beautiful thing and i'm happy that we have talented people who can be able to provide that for us so looking at this room it's one of my or rather it's the most beautiful room in this entire house but i'll be happy to take you guys through the other bedrooms but for now i think enjoy a final look at this master bedroom before we proceed We are stepping into the master bedroom balcony. My videographer and I actually forgot to take a clip uh, or rather to talk through this space during the day. So just bear with me, but I think we have bright shots uh, to show how beautiful this balcony space is. We still wanted to maintain that, you know, resort vibes. So we went with this gorgeous brown uh, balcony chairs. We actually got this set from tax store it was an amazing find i love the material on it it's a good material for outdoor it came with this gorgeous uh, stool that has like a black top and i just love that that ties in with the floors and another thing i just wanted to do is to introduce a lot of greenery in this um, balcony area so you'll find we've gone with these longer pots uh, made in concrete we've grown plants in them and i just love how beautiful how lively this space feels <laughs> For me, the master bedroom was a showstopper, but we have two guest bedrooms that we've set up in this house. We have guest bedroom one and guest bedroom two. We've tried to kind of apply the same style in both rooms to just kind of have that symmetry. So this guest bedroom one happens to be my favorite guest bedroom between the two. So you'll notice we've kept it very minimalist and also very keen on like amount of warmth that we had in this room so the bed that you see is a custom piece by us i love love the jacaranda wood you guys it's so beautiful the brown is just the right amount of brown so again like i said because the room is a little bit smaller we wanted a headboard that would not overwhelm the room and just feel just like the right size for the room so we went with this beautiful paneled um, headboard which is so beautiful i love the gorgeous curves on it i think my fundis did a great great job with this bed one good decision that my client made for this space when they were at the building stage is she wanted to 
actually have pendant lights for this space and when she shared that idea with me i was game so i feel like the room doesn't allow for you know so much when it comes to the bedside tables like bedside lamps and all that the pendants are just perfect they stand out so so beautifully another beautiful thing that we had to do for this room to ensure like now it was super complete and it was as per the style we wanted is to ground it with this gorgeous jute rug that we picked from uh tiles and carpet i love the browns it works so well with the floors it works so well with the bed and just the white details that you see kind of work with uh the bedside tables that we have <laughs> For these um, guest bedrooms, um, the idea was to make them very cozy but still very minimalist. You'll also notice with guest bedroom too, we've kept the same bed, the same bedding, uh, just a little bit different with things like a throw blanket. We also wanted to do different light like, fixtures for that space so that it's not super matchy matchy for the two rooms, but we kept it um same for the main pieces like the mirrors the bed the bedding the carpet the major key things that i had in mind was to have small small elements that made them look like you know hotel rooms so like the rattan um basket lights and the art piece even the gorgeous uh fish pot that you see by the bedside table i think it's so gorgeous it's just like these small 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 things i feel like they make a huge difference when you're setting up in your room. And now to our last bedroom um, of this walkthrough and this happens to be the girls bedroom. We started off with of course the empty room and I just wanted to be able to add something more interesting with the future wall. I feel like it was just too high and too plain you know just leaving it with paint uh, didn't sit well with me so I just wanted to be able to make good design decisions with you know the thing that you see when you enter that door. So we worked with this beautiful fluted um, panels and we wanted to just have you know some texture playing around um, this wall so we started off with, uh, we started off with the plain MDF and then painted on top of it and I just love how beautiful this um, this is I still worked with um, partnered with L creations for this um, beautiful creation it's so so beautiful and then on top I just wanted to add a little bit of depth so the idea was to go with wallpaper I think it's so calming and and uh, even if there was a little bit of a difference with style for this room, the idea was to still be able um, to make this feel like uh, to make this room feel like it's part of the entire house so you'll notice the wallpaper kind of represents all the neutral vibes that you see downstairs and just a pop of color enough pop of color for her because she loves um she loves color so we went with like this beautiful um bed from hearts and heads and the headboard is the star of this show i love how it complements the fluted uh details that you see on the headboard it's so beautiful it's a perfect queen bed and i feel like it kind of also ties so beautifully with the custom bedside tables that you see on the side she loves black so we wanted to be able to just had you know a little bit of black in this room so we did this gorgeous carved um bedside tables and i just love how plain they are you don't need knobs you don't need handles on them i feel like they're just decor pieces they create a beautiful statement for this room we then had this empty wall um, in the girls bedroom and I just wanted to be able to put together something functional, something that she could use. So like this um, is a vanity area with this gorgeous carved mirror. I love how big it is. It's just the right size for this space. I can just, you know, it has like a full view of me and I love it. So she can sit here um, in the future. She can just like had a chair. She can uh, sit here, do a makeup. We got drawers, which is amazing. And then I still wanted to be able to set up like a TV area for her if there was need to ever put up a TV. So we put up the provisions and I just love that it's functional. It's still aesthetically pleasing and it just helps cover that empty space that was on this side. It has been amazing taking you guys through this 
gorgeous home i am happy with how it has turned out let me know what you guys are thinking and i just love everything in each room to be honest everywhere you sit it's just comfortable this is a comfortable seat that's a comfortable bed i'm just happy that we put in a lot of work with this home it has taken us five good months to get to where we are custom making a lot of furniture even the bed is custom made guys that i just showed in the master bedroom so there was a lot of custom pieces there was just a lot of time taken to ensure that everything came out um, the way my client envisioned it so as i mentioned for all the pieces that are custom all the beds in this house other than um, the green bed everything is custom and i'm going to link all the details of how you can be able to get these uh, pieces i'll also tag some of the shops where i got uh, some of the interesting things that have worked for this space i'm also going to leave our details if you want us in your homes we are ready for you and i just can't wait to work on the next one but for now i just hope my client loves this space so yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next one we've been here too long i can't breathe i can't take it slow we're far away from home but I can't wait to get you under my skin and right back to where we've been. Oh, nah, nah. Give me a sign and tell me when to begin. Cause every time we leave, I'm a longing back. Back to the place where the lights go down. Just you and I leaving out the rest. Oh. Until I saw and I met your eyes That's why I'm moving close To be here and to get you under my skin And right back to where we've been Give me a sign and tell me when to begin Cause every time we leave I'm a longing back Back to the place where the lights go down Just you and I